fucking good buyers are buying so anyways i'm gonna jedi wave this shit yup jedi wave is a thing jedi wave all right we're now at the crib and let's show you the fucking mandalorians because yes that's the whole point of this video isn't it so fucking boom there's two of them i love this fucking box it just makes it look Fancy as fuck. Fucking love it. And then, those are also for sale on my Mercari if anybody's interested. We got them out of the box. Doing this cool ass pose. I took some pictures of them, as you can see. <coughs> Fucking love it. more than, Way more than the common. Blew up, bitch. And of course, just because for shits and giggles, we have his homie. Because we just have to bring them up. If we're talking exclusives. Might as well bring up the Best Buy exclusive, right? I fucking love these figures, man. I do. They're fucking awesome. And then we have a couple Mandalorians there. But there's the Death Watch Mandalorian right there. Yep. So one quick thing about how I got these figures. Two of them, I found on Brickseek. If you don't know what Brickseek is... Uh, Two of them, I found them brick. Um, ah, fuck me. Two of them, I found them brick seek. If you don't know what brick seek is, is it basically like an inventory checker? Sorry, my accent's all over the place this fucking morning. I don't know what the fuck. Maybe I'm not high enough. I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah. Also, no tattooing at the end of this video because I'm starting at a new shop today. So I'm trying to bang this video out before I go start at the new shop. <coughs> so, anyways, back to the point so i heard there was a restock as you saw on the previous video if you did i did mention a restock so i heard there was a restock i looked up on brickseek i put the dcpi you want to put the dcpi number on there actually let's break out the old trusty ipad and get you this dcpi because i mean what service am I really doing for you if I'm not giving you the fucking number? So, or showing you at least, 
on how to do it. You know what I mean? Then there's no real value. It's just me talking shit. So you want to go to the Target app, right? Right. And you want to go to product details. And down here in the bottom, you want that number, DCPI. When you call them, like, don't even fucking, like, tell them, hey, I'm looking for the Target exclusive. Half of them don't even fucking know. When you call them, just give them the DCPI number. So what you want to do is, all right, here you go. You want to go to Brick, B-R-C-K, Seek. Brick Seek. I don't know if you can see it. You want to go to Brick Seek on Google. It's easier if you just search it on Google because it just gives you the options for Target, Walmart, and blah, 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 blah. Also, this works out very well for Pops if you're looking for a Pop. That's how I learned about this app. So there's Brick Seek. There it is. You want to put the number right here, right where it says DCPI. If it'll paste, that'd be fucking dope. And then you want to add your zip code. And honestly, distance works best because it'll give you the closest distance for you to buy. So you see, there it pops up. And now we have them everywhere. It's fucking limited stock all over the place. So if you're watching this video and you're looking for a carbonized Mandalorian and you're in Massachusetts, apparently there was a massive fucking restock. I mean, the stores are not getting a whole lot of them, but they all have them. All limited stock. So that's the way to go about it. If you're looking for the carbonized Mandalorian, that's the way to go about it. Go on break seat, enter the DCPI, <coughs> and call Target. And then another way that I got my third um, carbonized Mandalorian was through my wife's nephew. That's one of the things I want to talk about this segment, which is uh, networking. So networking is one of those things that I do a lot. And with networking, it kind of helps you out you know, kind of just get a leg up in the game. There's a lot of people doing what we're all doing. If it's not flipping, it's collecting. If it's not flipping and collecting, it's flipping, it's whatever. The case is some of these things fly off the shelf in no fucking time. So the best thing to do is network. Find someone at your favorite store, fucking network with the motherfucker and see what benefits each other mutually. Like me, for an example, tattooing tends to kind of be... A nice fucking crutch. I ain't gonna front. Like, the minute I'm like, oh, I'm a tattoo artist. Oh, what's up, dude? So, it's a, it's a Venus flytrapper. Just fucking snatched him. You know what I mean? So, but, you know, I also, and my, my end of the bargain, I also hold that. And what I do is, you know, they hook me up, hold shit for me. And I'll hook them up with fucking paintings or whatever the fuck they want. You know what I'm saying? The idea is when networking is mutual. Mutual and benefits. It benefits me as well as benefits you, or at least it's going to benefit me now. It'll benefit you later. In other words, in Puerto Rico, we say, Hoy por ti, mañana por mi. Today for you, tomorrow for me. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's one of the things that's like fucking lost, and people don't realize how much value that actually creates because one link can lead to another link, to another link, and so on and so on. You know, but anyways. This episode isn't going to be overly long because I have shit I got to do. But let's cut into some fucking close-ups of The Mandalorian on my nice diorama. tripod got a table this time we're not fucking sitting on two boxes um no cool drum and bass no tattooing this time 
I promise next week, next episode will be a lot more entertaining. I just was in the middle of a lot of shit and trying to squeeze this fucker in so I can stick with my, you know, every Wednesday releases. Um, thanks everybody that's supporting the channel. Like and subscribe. Let your fucking friends know there's me talking shit. Yeah, have a good one. And I'll see you on the next one.